Hello everybody, welcome back. In previous video, uh, we created this menu bar for this project and in this video I'm going to tell you some important points in this whole project. We are creating basically this uh, whole, uh, I mean, e-commerce for selling electronical products, I mean, cameras, laptops, mob mobiles and things like that. So, we are adding, uh, we will be adding those pro products to this area but you can use this whole project or this e-commerce for any uh, purpose I mean for any selling purpose for digital products or for any other ebooks or for anything you can use it but we will uh, add some uh, you know real products physical products to this uh, thing and secondly in previous video uh, we worked and the source code of this index page and I wrote some comments I mean the main container start from here and it ends below here and some other comments for different sections so basically these comments are not visible on the page I mean this page these are only for these comments are only for the developer or for the programmer who uh, is modifying these files or this source code who is accessing this source code for so for them these are basically the instructions that this section is starting from here and ending it there and if you did understand if you understood this CSS style that's very nice and if you did not so I will I am once again repeating or giving an overview about this CSS styles that uh, um, uh, you know uh, an ID in CSS is created with hash sign and inside these two curly brackets we write the properties the CSS properties in order to declare a, uh, a style for uh, an HTML element or, or a specific ID or class and class is always created with uh, I mean dot sign so text decoration is also a property and padding is a property that we, m we use to make distance between the parent element and other elements for example if we remove this padding from here and add 0 instead of 8 and control S to save and we come here and refresh this page so we will see you know there is no uh, I mean there is no space there is no distance between the elements therefore when we added 8 pixel padding so that actually makes the I mean the distance between the main element I mean the li tag and the anchor tag the link itself and if the margin is for making some distance between two elements if you remove the margin 5 pixel to 0 and control s to save you refresh this page you will see there is no margin between these two uh, links and basically this is the default style so we added 5 we can increase or decrease it, decrease it we added 5 margin here to make some distance between two elements refresh now you can see you can increase it as far as uh, as far as your requirements in this video uh, lecture now this was an overview uh, giving you an overview about the previous work now we will add a search box over here in this area so we can easily say that uh, if someone wants to search products or this website so he she can using this search box we will add that there very simply uh, first of all we need to add float property to this area to this I mean the menu the main menu ID we need a float property and we'll assign a value to it as lift this will be lift aligned S this will be lift aligned this whole menu so we can add a search box over here to which we will assign float right simply come to index.php and inside here after the menu the menu tick we will add a form search box simply add div tag and its id will be form which we have not created but we will create of course and then do close and inside the div uh, tag 
insert a form form take form method will be get an action page will be I mean action page will be something like results dot php which we will we will create later on and ink type will be ink type is equal to multi part form data this is an attribute we always use when we are <coughs> showing or getting images and multi part data i mean videos and images so therefore we will be showing uh, images also using this form when someone will click and will search for something so i will just simply close the form take below and inside the form take i need to insert uh, one input take input text field which type will be text there are many types for this input take in html but we will add text because we need someone to write text over here and its name is very important we have we will give a name like uh, user underscore query that's very simple and this is a single take this uh, does not need to be you know closed and after the input take we will add another input take which type will be submit button I mean submit and its name will be search and value will be search this is also a single take the values is basically the text that will be uh, shown that will be displayed that will appear on the button that we have given the type button submit submit is basically a button so control s to save very simple form form close inside that we have just added two input type fields refresh the page and you will see it is here is written search and this is the I mean this is the search box we can add a placeholder which is a you know a demi text placeholder to this text field I mean the first one the input take and can write search a product so it will be written already inside that before someone writes something search a product control s to save and now we have we have this is here you can see but we need to style up it here so it can uh, appear on the right place accurately just go to css style that css file and below in here create hash add hash sign and then form we have added this already this is basically an id we'll simply say float will be right align and padding uh, dash left Heading right will be 8 pixel. That's it. Control S to save because we have already uh, given it here to this div take, division take. Now simply come here, replace the page, and you see it is there. But we have to add one more CSS property which is basically line height. Same like we have added to the menu line height colon that would be something like 40 pixel we already given this to the main menu as well or here you can see line you can observe line uh, dash height it's 40 pixel and we have also given that to this one I mean line height 40 pixel to this form ID that's mean because the whole area uh, for this menu is for 50 pixel so we have given this so this will be centered a line I mean it will come uh, into the middle simply control s to save and now replace the page and you will see this is exactly on the center and uh, some spaces here you can see at the right side so that's because of the this padding padding property CSS we have given 8 pixel if we give this 50 pixel exactly I mean the line height will come more on the center just replace it you can see over here so when someone will write something 
so they can click search button and products will be displayed over here that is we are going to create in a later chapter of this course uh, a script a PHP script for this thing but in our upcoming tutorial we will be working on this sidebar I mean adding categories and brands and after that we will be adding products to this place so stay tuned